Good morning children. Today we shall learn about proportion. We already know what a ratio is. Aman bought three pens and he paid rupees 30 for it. Khushi bought five pencils and she paid how many rupees? She paid rupees 15. Now let's see if they are in proportion. The ratio of quantity of pens to the quantity of pencils is equal to 3 is to 5. As 3 pens were bought and 5 pencils were bought and the ratio of cost of pens to the cost of pencils is equal to 30 is to 15. As 30 rupees were paid for the pens and only 15 rupees were paid for the pencils and this ratio gets reduced to 2 is to 1 as we divide by 15 15 twos are 30 and 15 ones are 15 so the ratio is 2 is to 1 now what do we see 3 is to 5 is not equal to 30 is to 15 so this we can say that the two ratios are not in proportion so remember when two ratios are not equal then we can say that they are not in proportion understood but if the two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion like here 6 is to 12 is same as 4 is to 8 as both can be reduced to 1 by 2. Now coming to another example. This Anand got 8 out of 10 in a unit test and Kushi got 40 out of 50 in a half yearly exam. Can we compare the two performances? Yes. For that, what is the ratio of Aman's mark? It is 8 is to 10 as he got 8 marks out of 10 marks. And the ratio of Khushi's marks is equal to 40 is to 50 as she got 40 out of 50 marks. Now, if we simplify both the ratios, what do we get? 8 is to 10 is equal to 4 is to 5 by dividing them by 2. 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. Next, coming to the next ratio, 40 is to 50. Here again, we can divide by 10 and what do we get? We get 4 is to 5. So what do we see? Both the ratios are equal. So we can say 8 is to 10 is same as 40 is to 50. So 8 is to 10 is in proportion to 40 is to 50 and we read it as 8 is to 10 as 40 is to 50. Understood? Now when we write it as 8 is to 10 as 40 is to 50 this is the statement of proportion and it has 1, 2, 3 and 4 terms and, and when we talk of the first term and the fourth term they are called extreme terms and what about the second term and third term these two are lying inside and the second term and the third term are called the middle terms so that was the statement of proportion. That's all for now. Bye bye children.